Hi guys, let's see what we got here for All Signs Love Reading for this weekend. Hope all is doing well. Kelly here, Mystical Madness. What do we got? Seven of Pentacles. Something you, oh, I don't know why this the screen is, I must have it on a different setting. This is, uh, you planted seeds in a project, something creative, or a person. Seven of Pentacles. And a se seven Pentacles out of ten is a, quite a bit of time that you've invested into some kind of, like I said, job, person, opportunity. And what she's doing there is just kind of sitting back now waiting uh, for the fruits, you know, for things to come to fruition. It's a good card to get right off the bat. Lots of beautiful flowers on there. Alright. Clarify the Seven of pen Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Success. So you've worked on your success. You get, you've gained, uh, you've been successful here. Even with those Seven Pentacles, you're getting the Nine of Cups. That's the complete success card. So you've gained success, which is pretty amazing here. All right, clarify this Nine of Cups. The World card, something on social media or something you're, um, you elevated to the top. Uh, this could be like uh, even traveling the world, like your news is traveling the world. Or something you're doing is traveling the world. Clarify this world card. I, I was sitting here so in a trance over this that I wasn't even asking. But we got the King, King of Cups. This is the female version in this deck. Uh, the Mystical Moment, she does a, a male and a female version. This is the female version, So, but it, this could be your person or you. Uh, either male or female, that's just the energy that they uh, that somebody is embodying right now. Water sign possibly doesn't have to be. Cups are love or uh, water, you know, emotion. Clarify the King of Cups. But I know one thing, if the King of Cups and, th and this person looks balanced here holding the ship, if uh, highly intuitive, that's what, that's why that's, there's like a portal looking. Well, anyways, the King of Cups is very loving, very intuitive, a lot of love to give, caring person, could be humble. Clarify this King of Cups. Okay. I'm being guided to take this packet that fell out. Four cards. Four's, uh... Four's our good luck and protection. I just keep looking at that world card. That's like transformation vibes, too. I'm, I'm getting... Okay, so... Okay, so this King of Cups could have caused a heartbreak or you could could be heartbroken because of um, this King of Cups. The heartbreak may have already happened. All right, let me do it this way because I changed up my spread. So the King of Cups world card. We got the heartbreak card. Okay. Clarifying, this is a little bit uh, better here. See, I go, I clarify each card, but I, for some reason, put that uh, king of, I put the, the three of swords on the world card, but it didn't go there. So I have that, okay, so we got the seven of pentacles, you planted seeds, and now you're waiting for your success, or you've obtained, you have, if you got the nine of cups. That's also a lot of love. That's the whole package. The Nine of Cups is a lot of love and getting your pentacles right. You know, like, okay. And then you got the a King of Cups in the world. 
there was a heartbreak because the heartbreak card came out and I was guided to take these four. But it, this heartbreak could have been somebody couldn't make a decision. Okay, or something like that. But look at, I think they have now. We got the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles coming out together. So this person, King of Pentacles is a provider. You know, they like to provide for others. They, um, they also are leaders. They're balanced. They got their money together. So, you know, take it as it re resonates. You could, if you're the, if you gain this success, you could be the King of Pen Pentacles. And you're getting this Ace of Pentacles from your elevation and stuff like that. But we, it looks like we do have a couple, though, because we have a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles, and this could be the same person. Yeah, it is, because now we got the Queen, Queen of Cups. I don't know what even made me say that, but look, we got the Queen of Cups now coming out. That's uh, a lot of love there with the King and Queen of Cups. So now I'm, I'm getting that. If your person usually comes off as this King of Pentacles, they can be a little sharp and stuff like that. Um, not sharp, but analytical. They are now in a more vulnerable King of Cups energy. Uh, because we got a Queen of Cups here too. Okay, so that tells me that this is a, a couple here. This... Um, Four of Cups has caused you guys both a lot of heartache. You know what I mean? You you could have been curled up in a ball crying and stuff like that over this. But it looks like it's, you know, yeah, you could have been in a, a mental prison. Or somebody could have tried to affect your mental here with the Ten of Swords. But that's like depression. You, this is in the past, okay? But I, w I, I was like, come on, don't, don't let this... Now we got the Ten of Pentacles. So you could have gained generational wealth yourself with this, whatever you were doing to gain this success. That's like generational wealth. Or this person, the King of Pentacles, is um, has the generational wealth. So Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles coming out. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, the world. If, if this wasn't, uh, you know, if this person couldn't decide and there was a separation, look at this. I see it coming back together with the lovers. This is all about making the right choices and the right decisions also. So maybe somebody got a new perspective here or they want to balance the scales out with the justice card coming out. I'm trying to get the color to come up. Okay, we got justice. Your justice is probably this Ten of Pentacles here in this lovers. After, uh, possibly after a separation, yeah, that there was uh, somebody watching this relationship, or to, this could also this could also mean somebody uh, doing things behind your back. Somebody had their face covered like a mask. Uh, Nobody knew who was doing this. This is Gemini energy. This is about conflict, drama, gossip, slander. Um, it's, you know, let me, let me just, sometimes there's good things on these cards. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just going to read. I don't know why, but I just want to read what she says about this Five of Swords. The lady who made the deck. Conflict, defeat, self-interest, winning dishonorably, manipulation, unfair advantage. Okay, so somebody, yeah, somebody could have did, this could have, this five of swords could be a, about the breakup. Like, think about it, three, four, five. The four of swords didn't come out, but the four of cups came out, three, four, five. Uh, somebody could have, you know, this could have caused a lot of defeat, conflict, disinterest, stuff like that. This, If there was a fight, that could happen, you know what I mean? That that might be what this is about here. It might not be 
anybody did anything to you, this could have been part of the breakup and how you were feeling after, like, a, you know, depressed and feeling, you know, torn. There's a guy with the, the heart on his uh, sleeve. His heart on his sleeve here is patched up. So maybe somebody couldn't wear their heart on their sleeve or you wear your heart on your sleeve, but... Justice is here, and I think it's this Ten of Pentacles in this union. Come, this King and Queen of Cups coming back into um, fruition. Just because this card coming out first, it, you planted seeds already with this person. Maybe it didn't work out. Maybe there was some somebody who caused you know a lot of. Um, mind manipulation or something in this in this union uh doesn't even have to be your person could have been third party interference whatever it was that you the justice is here i don't like like i don't see a lot of mal any malice cards here so this could all all be about just somebody is nervous about this or or kind of stuck or in a depression or you know it could be it could be i do see the wheel of fortune here knight of swords that's more gemini energy that could have been your creative ideas you know the knight of swords is light as a feather uh, all kinds of information on her dress at uh, there could have been a queen of pentacles involved here or you could be the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wait, wait, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. So, and it's this is a new cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. This is like go play the lottery type shit. This is like uh, the wheels turning in your favor now. Come on, with the Ten of Pentacles and the, I mean, that maybe you're going to get a windfall of money or something like that. You know, maybe you're going to win a windfall of money or something with the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles and all those pentacles i feel like that somebody's gonna gain some kind of sudden wealth page of wands message from a fire sign somebody keeping an eye on you uh, or watching everything you do um this person could could have been a rival like i'm i'm saying that because of the ten of swords or this could just be a fast message coming in there was a battle. Battle's over, though. Nine of Wands is a card of healing. Possibly from somebody who was in a Knight of Wands energy that could have caused the heartbreak, you know. But now there's, like, travel plans. Um, somebody wants to travel towards you. And th this this um, person that wants to travel towards you with the Three of Wands, they are very similar to this King of Cups here. The hair and the long hair and stuff like that. Uh, all right. All right, guys. Um, all right, let me pull it. This is a lot of love here, so I'm going to pull a, an angel's oracle. After all, this is a love reading, even though it started out with a lot of pentacles. Generational wealth and nine of cups is also love and success, and so was ten of pentacles. Clarify this reading. Uh, what do I want to ask? When's this happening, Holy Spirit? What's going on with the new cycle? We got heart-to-heart -heart conversations that says, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe that's what's needed here. There's a lot of attraction in this relationship. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And wow, honeymoon could be involved here. Or even a, a retreat, maybe you're, like I mentioned, travel. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So... A lot of times I get, like, I always get a negative one of the cards like this. 
these three popped out for a reason. That's uh, clarifying the reading with the King and Queen of Cups here and the King and Queen of Pentacles. So you can both be boss leaders or just both, you know, know how to maneuver your finances and um, be disciplined, most of all. Okay, guys, hope, th hope this helps. Um, it's super nice out where I am today, which is unusual. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm closing down my channel tomorrow. April Fool's.